Hi, this is Omer. I'm a co op student working for Comeworks. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to control your spray using your keyboard arrow keys. Other than that, let's get started. Okay, guys, so first thing you want to do is you want to open up a scratch project, which I have right here, a freshly new project with your sprite character. And this is basically the character right here. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go into this code section this i mean this code thing right here you want to click on that and there's a bunch of these categories right here like motion looks sound events you want to go into the events tab and there's a bunch of these blocks which are obviously called blocks so you want to click you want to get this when space key pressed right here and basically what this block does is you can so it starts off by like you can basically let's say for example you can use right arrow you click right arrow and that basically like tells the sprite here to to like you know do the like do something then you want to go into the motions category which is right here and then after you do that you want to get in a point in direction so basically what this does is you can basically like make it like go up down left so yeah you want to get in this put it right under the put it right under this block then you want to go and move 10 steps get that block that basically move uh that basically tells the sprite character to move so it's already moving like that but in order to do this correctly so for example as you may see i have it as a right arrow key pressed you want to get this and you want to put it to the right side you want to get this point and direction and point it to the right side which is 90 degrees so it, it makes more sense there's more logic so yeah so you can see that it moves to the right side when i click the right arrow so that's your first code right here then an easier way of doing this instead of going back into the code section finding out where the blocks are you can just click right click it and click duplicate now you have it then what you can do from here is you can just uh tell the sprite character to let's say go on the left left side right then i'm going to click point and direction and make sure you do this because if you don't do this it won't go left it will just keep going right because i have a i have two right arrows or I, it will go right side two times basically so you want to click this and you want to correspond it to the left side <clears throat> so that's how you do it and now it's already working we already got our code not done yet but we already got the left arrow and the right arrow and then you can just rinse and repeat this for the two uh up and down arrow so obviously you want to click this up arrow sorry about that uh up arrow and then click this bar or click this 90 and then correspond it to up which is zero degrees and now as you may see I'm able to go up which is really nice and then you can duplicate this put it right here and do it for down arrow so you want to click down click this button or that zero and then correspond it to down which is 180 so now we already got our code that's simple as that that's all you got to do now this is just a simple way to do it you can see how like like this is basically a simple way to do it. Okay guys, so now we got our code done. This is the simple way to do it. So as you may see, that's all you gotta do. I can use my character, go up, left, right. So yeah, that's how you do it. This is the simple way to do it. Now I'm gonna show you the harder way but much better and efficient way so i'm going to get rid of this 
Oh, and to get rid of the uh, the code that you made, you just want to hold on to the first block and you want to drag it on to this section right here. So just do that for all of them. Okay, guys, so once you've done that, you want to get you want to go down into this code section. You want to go into events and you want to get in this block. Basically, what this block does is basically what it does is once you click this green flag, which is basically the play button, it activates the code, but there's no code yet. And I'm going to explain that really soon. So once you have this one clicked, you want to go into the control tab and then you want to get in a forever block. Basically, what this block does, it's it basically makes the code go on forever. You know, you, you, you could probably figure that out but yeah basically once you have that then you want to get in an if then statement now this block is it's a really popular block not only just for scratch but it's used in like other coding softwares but basically what this block does the if then block is basically like if something gets you know if something senses something then this happens pretty straightforward but yeah that's what it does that's how I can explain it. Then you want to go into sensing. You want to get in a key space pressed. You only want to put it right in here. Basically, what this does, as I said, like if something gets triggered, then something happens. Then once you've done that, you want to go into the motions tab and get in the point and direction like we did before, put it right under this. And then you want to click on this 180. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. We don't do that yet. First, we have to configure this to something. So like we're going to do it to, let's say, up arrow, right? Then you want to get in a point in direction, put it right under this if then statement. And you want to just correspond this to up so it even gives you an arrow right here like this arrow pointing it kind of it really helps you if you're a really new starter like if you're new so yeah you have it as up then you want to get into move 10 steps after you've done that you're basically done this code now you want to click you want to hover over this if then statement right click duplicate put it right under here then once you've done that you want to configure this to down arrow, let's say, then correspond this down to 180. And then you want to rinse and repeat this process. Just, you know, you got to do it to right arrow, right arrow goes to the right side and then duplicate it again. Sorry about that. You want to hover over it. That's the best way to do it. Left arrow and point to the left side. Now when we use our code, it works. And you can see that it's so much less delayed or in less latency. And basically what that is, it's like your character activates much more faster. So that's why I recommend doing this. And the reason why it's faster is because it's, it's all in one code. The previous way I showed you to do this was an easy way, but it's much slower because you're activating different codes that take time to activate. So this is why I recommend doing it this way. Now it's gonna be a little bit bugged and glitchy. So the way to fix this is you wanna click this stop button right here. So you stop the code. And then you wanna click this direction button, this 90. And then you wanna click in this button right here. And now when you click this green flag to start up the game, now you can see it's much more like, <clears throat> it's much more logical. It, it, it makes it more like better. That's what it does. And it stops being a bug, like it stops the bugs. So that's why I recommend doing it this doing it this way, guys. I hope you learned something from this, just the basics. And uh, other than that, peace.
For more beginner level Scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.